Hello, can you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Hola, ¿me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Okay. I hear you. Okay, very good. Good evening. How are you? How are you, Noe? How was your weekend? Hi, hi teacher. ¿Me hi. escucha, teacher? ¿Me escucha? Yes. Okay. Well, thank you, teacher. Okay, good evening. Good evening, Mauricio, Maria, Rosaura, Lisette. We are going to wait for the other students. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? How was your weekend? It was good. Did you rest? Did you cook? Did you have had some free time with your family? How was your weekend? My weekend was busy. Busy. Your weekend was busy. Why? I work. I work. You work. Oh, I'm sorry for you. You work. But probably you will have some free time during the week, right? Or not? No, no, no entendí. Uh, free time during the week? Tiempo libre en la semana? No. Uh, yes. Yes, uh, right. Monday. Monday. Okay, very good. Okay, now we are going to continue with the classes. Good evening, Jaime. Good evening, Rosaura. Maria, Gabriela, Walter, uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for connecting to the class. We're going to have, um, well, we are going to begin week number three. Hopefully we are going to finish it on Thursday and we are going to have a little review, okay, uh, today because I just want to make sure that you have understood all the previous topics so we can learn the new topics, the new vocabulary, because this is like a pyramid, right? It's like with different levels. Uh, you will have to learn first the, the first things, like have, have a good basis, you need to have that. And then you will be able to develop the other um, uh, topics, right? The other grammar parts. So, vamos a tener un pequeño re, repaso hoy y vamos a revisar los temas anteriores para que ustedes sepan si hemos, tienen alguna duda todavía. Y si tienen alguna duda, lo vamos a resolver y después vamos a pasar a los, a los nuevos temas de esta semana. Okay, you didn't have any homework. So uh, what we are going to do is just to begin with uh, the review. It's going to be really fast. Have you worked in uh, the platform? ¿Ya trabajaron en la plataforma? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Not yet, I'm, okay. I'm busy. You're busy. Yeah, I understand it's Monday, right? And you have to work and you have a, to do a lot of things. But probably during the week, you can uh, do different exercises. Uh, this will be a review from exercises from the platform. So probably it's going to be very easy for you. So we are going to begin with that. Let me see here. I'm going to share my screen right now. And we are going to continue with the review. Okay, this is the review. What we are going to do is just to have some questions here. And uh, you just need to answer to choose the best option, okay? For example, number one, right? Where, space, I was born in Santa Ana. What is the missing part for the question? Where was you born? Where were I born? Where were you born or where was I born? Letter C, teacher. Okay, letter C. Where was you born? Where were you born? Let's see. Where were you born? Where was you, you born? Where were you born? Very good. Where were you born? Very good. Number two, did she play soccer in high school? No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball or no, she soccer didn't play in high school. She played basketball. Letter B, teacher. Letter, letter B. B. Letter B. Very good, letter B. 
Next one, let's see. Choose the best question to match this response. I grew up in Houston, Texas. Where did you grow up? Where did you grew up or where you grew up? Which one? Letter A. A, where did you grow up? Let's A. see. Letter very A. good. Letter A, very good. Next one. Which option is a correct way to answer the question? Were you a good student in high school? Yes, I was. Yes, I were. Or no, I were. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Let me see. Yes, I was. Very good. Yes, I was. Put these words in the correct order. You, born, were, city, in this. You were born in this city. Born you were in the city or were you born in the city? Were you born in the city? Were you born in the city? city? Letter C. Letter C. Okay, yes. were you born in the city? Very good, very good. You have all the correct answers. Let me see. Where did Jerry grow up? She grew up in Brighton, England. She grew up in Brighton, Ireland, or she grew up in Brighton, England. Mm -hmm. Letter C. Letter C. She grew up in Brighton, England. Let's see. Letter C. Very good. Letter C. Very good. Next one. Choose the best response for this question. What games did you used to play when you were a kid? I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid, or I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. Which one? Letter B. Letter B. Very good. I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. It sounds like the same, but it's different, right? The way you write it. Choose the best response to this question. What do you use to collect when you were a kid? I used to collect comic books when I was a kid. I used to collect comic books when I was a kid. Or I used to collect comic books when I was a kid. Letter A. C. Letter A. Letter A. Let's see. Very good. Letter A. Okay. My last job was easy and relaxing. I used to work from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Used to or was used to work from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. A, B, or C. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Let's see. Letter A. Very good. Letter A. Very good. Next one, which is correct. Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Did you used to worry about money when you were younger? Or did you used to about money when you were younger? Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Very good. Letter B. Let's see. Which one is correct? Did you used to follow politics five years ago? Did you used to follow politics five years ago? Or did you used to politics five years ago? Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Okay, let's see. Very good. Next one. Choose the best question to match this answer. I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now I'm too busy to care how I look. What do you used to care about when you were younger? What do you used to care about when you were younger? Or do you used to care about your appearance? Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Let's see. Very good. Letter A. Complete the question. What kind of video games do you used to play when you were a teenager? Do you used to play when you were a teenager? Or you used to play when you were a teenager? A. Letter B. Letter, 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 B. B. letter B. Okay, let's see letter B. Letter B. Yes. yes, it's letter B. Very good. Next one. Which of the following options is not a count noun or a countable noun? Bus, subway line, or parking? Letter C. C. Letter, letter C. Parking. 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 Uh, no, bus. parking. parking. No, letter A. Letter A. B, B, B. Letter B. C. C. 
Letter E. Letter C. Letter C. Remember, it says. Remember, it says not a count now. Let's see letter C or letter B. Letter C. It's parking, right? Parking. Subway lines. We can count subway lines. Next one. What are some examples of count nouns or countable nouns? Choose three options. Desk, book, camera. Camera. Okay, they say desk, book, camera. Camera. Let's see. Very good. The other two are uncountable. Very good. Let's see the next one. Why is there too much traffic? Because there are too many bicycles because there are too many cars or because there are too many pedestrians? Because there are too many cars. Okay, because there are too many cars. Yes. Very good, exactly. We almost finished, which is correct. There are too many police officers in my city. There aren't enough police officers in my city or there aren't many two police officers in my city. Letter B. Letter B. Very good. There aren't enough police officers in my city. Next one, which is correct. There are too much pollution in my city. There is too little pollution in my city or there is too much pollution in my city. Which one? C. Letter B. A. A. Somebody says A. There are too much pollution. Letter C. C. Okay, let's see. C. Yes, a. exactly. It's letter C. There is too much pollution. Complete the statement. I can sleep at night. There should be less noise, more noise, too much noise. Less letter noise. A. Letter C. Letter A or letter, letter C? Letter C. Letter C. Which one? Too much noise? Letter C. Too much noise. Letter C. Letter C. Yeah. Oh, no, a. it's a ah. less noise. A. Less noise. Less noise, exactly. <laughs> Next one. How would you transform the following sentence into an indirect question? Where is the nearest internet cafe? Could you tell me where the nearest internet cafe is? Could you tell me where is the nearest internet cafe? Or could you tell me the nearest cafe where is? Okay, many people say A. Let's see. Yes, yeah. correct. Letter A. Next one. Rephrase as the following question as an indirect question. How late do the buses run? Do you know how late do the buses run? The question is already indirect, or do you know how late the buses run? Which one? Do you know how late do the buses run? Do you know how late? Letter A. Letter A? Okay, letter A. No, it's C. Do you know how late the buses run? Very good. Which one is correct? Apartments isn't comfortable enough for families. Apartments are too comfortable for families. And apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. C. Letter C. Letter C, let's Letter. see. Very good, Letter C, very good. Which one is correct? Apartments don't have privacy enough, apartments don't have enough privacy, or apartments have privacy enough? Letter C. Letter B. 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 Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Let's yes. see. Letter B. Yes, Letter B, very good. Which one is correct? My neighbor's house has five bedrooms. My but my house isn't as big his. Is big as his. Isn't as big as his. Letter C. Letter, Letter C. C. Letter, Letter C. C. Let's see. Very good. Letter C. Let's see next one. I don't like to live in apartments because they don't have as many rooms as houses, don't have many rooms as houses, or don't have as much rooms as houses. Letter A. As many rooms. Letter A. Letter, Letter A. A to me. Don't have as many rooms as houses. Let's see. 
Letter Very a. good. Letter A. Rewrite the following sentence using wish. Dan can fit into his old jeans. Dan wishes he can fit into his old jeans. Dan wishes he could fit into his old jeans or Dan wishes he has bigger jeans. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. You already know all of that. Re uh, let's see here. Uh, rewrite the following sentence using wish. Laura doesn't have any free time. Laura wishes she had some free time. Laura wishes she has some free time. Or Laura wishes she could want some free time. Letter A. Letter, Letter A. A. Letter, Letter A. A. Letter B. Okay, we have like a lot of letter A's and one letter B. We will go for A, let's see. Yes, Laura wishes she had some free time. Very good. How do you say mercadeo in English? Marketing. 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 Very good. And next one is, how do you say gotera in English? Lick. Oh, lick. 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 Very lick. good. Very good. Very good. You did very good. You uh, almost had all the questions corrected. So congratulations to you. Okay. Thank you for participating. And we have finished the review. Uh, this is the platform. I think that you have been working in the platform. This is the section four. And this is what we're going to uh, work today. Okay. Do you have any question about... Um, the previous, the previous exercises? Did you have any question or any topic or any doubt that you may have before beginning the new content? Any question? No questions. No questions. No, Everything is clear. Very good. Perfect. So if you don't have more questions, we are going to begin with um, this presentation for the new, the new, the new content, the new weeks, okay? The objective, it says, practice asking and answering questions in English using the present perfect and simple past tenses. In this lesson, English teacher Joe Sands, the one who you see in, in the platform, explains when you, when you simple past, the present perfect tense, depending on the time frame of the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing your past experiences by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. So uh, we are going to do this. Uh, we are going to know about the present perfect. Have you studied the present perfect before? Yes, 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 right? Thank and you. the simple past? Yes, right? It's easy, right? Okay, so you have you have studied all the the, the tenses already, the, the simple past and the present perfect. So we are going to combine those uh, tenses to provide answers about past experiences. Lo vamos a combinar hoy. Vamos a aprender a combinarlos. Uh, have you eaten dinner already? Yes, and Aaron, have you eaten dinner? No. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. No, yes, yes I no. Have okay, okay. So sorry for the ones who ha hasn't eaten yet because we are going to talk about food, okay? Delicious food, right? <laughs> so we are going to, yeah, that's where well, we are going to, native, no. yeah, we are going to begin, we are going to introduce like food vocabulary because in the future, we are going to need it, okay? So we are going to pay attention to it and then we are going to practice, okay? So what is your favorite food? ¿Cuál es su comida favorita? Who wants to participate? What is your favorite food? Is it pasta, pizza, chicken? Pasta and salads. Pasta and salads. Okay, Carla, thank you. Who else wants to participate? Uh, Mexican food. Mexican food, says Maria, okay? Chinese food. Chinese. Salvadorian food. Salvadorian food. Okay, Salvadorian Chinese food. Maria Cecilia. What is your favorite food, Maria Cecilia? In Salvadorian food. Salvador. I like very much pupusas. 
Pupusas, yes. <laughs> Even though if you travel to another country, it's not the same, right? The ingredients, the way it is prepared, that taste is just, we can find it here in El Salvador. Rosa Maria, go ahead. What is your favorite food, Rosa Maria? My favorite food is lasagna. Lasagna is delicious. Yeah, it is yes. like chicken lasagna or meat lasagna. Yeah. A chicken lasagna. Chicken lasagna, okay, yes. because also we have mm -hmm. vegetables or we, we can add a lot of things. Yes, yes, Tatiana, what is your favorite food, Tatiana? My favorite food are tacos. Tacos? Mm -hmm. Only tacos? Um, pupusas. <laughs> pupusas? Yes. I, I don't know. I like food. <laughs> Yes, uh, especially especially junk food. It's like hamburgers, pizza. Yes, it's very, <laughs> very delicious, right? But we have to eat it with like small amounts of that. Sometimes, not always, right? Sometimes, not always. Okay, very good. So that's what we are going to do right now. We are going to talk about food, a very very good topic, and we have ethnic food, right? Ethnic food, for example, these are foods uh, from, I guess popular in Chile, like fish, um, real meat, right? So which dishes are made with meat? Which dishes are made with fish? Have you ever tried any of these dishes? Which would you like to try? So um, we are going to talk also about Salvadoran food because that is ethnic uh, food, right? Ethnic means relating to a population or subgroup with a larger or dominant national or cultural group with a common national or cultural tradition. So ethnic food is, for example, pupusas, right, in El Salvador. What kind of uh, food do you know from El Salvador or have you tried? Have you tried, for example, flor de isote? Have you tried that? Because that is the national flower, right, from El Salvador. Have you eaten flor de isote? Do you like it? Yes, yes I like delicious. It. I don't like it. With eggs. With egg, exactly, with egg. I don't like it, actually. Yes, also, I, I don't, it's, I think it is kind of sour, amarga, sour. But yes, but yes. some people like How it. How do you say amarga? Sour. Sour. Sour, yes, S-O-U-R, sour. Yes. So also we have pupusas. Sour. What else do we have? Chilate. We have chuco. Nuegados. Nuegados. Yes, they are delicious. Riguas. Riguas. Yes, made from elote, made from corn, Empanadas. right? Torrejas. Torrejas. Torre. Yeah, but tamales. I guess yuca. tamales. Yuca. Like you have fried yuca and boiled, right? And fried, vida, right? Fried yuca. Mm -hmm. And fried, frita, exactly. What else do we have from El Salvador? Elote loco. What else? We churros have espanoles. churros españoles. But churros españoles, yes. they are from Spain. They, br they brought it here, right? Like Torrejas. Oh, they brought it here. But enchiladas. they are from El Salvador. Also enchiladas. Yes, enchiladas with beans. Exactly. Empanadas. Empanadas. Yes, empanadas. Uh, where I live in my Maíz city. Tostado. Maíz tostado. How do you Atún eat? de maíz tostado. Atún de maíz tostado. How do you eat that? Is that from El Salvador? Is that uh, ethnic food? Yes. Yes. I have never tried that. Atún yes. de piñuela. Atún de piñuela. Atún de maíz tostado. Eh, Atún de piñuela. Horchata, boleada. right? Boleada. Boleada, horchata. Cebada, right? I have cebada. never. What do you like? What do you like more? Cebada or horchata? Or chata. Or chata. Right? Or chata, chata. Very good. Yes, it's delicious. It's delicious. Okay, we are going to check here more food because we are going to, to talk about food, right? We need to have a lot of vocabulary. We have also popular food in the United States, right? For example, peanut butter and jelly. That is very common in the United States. Have you tried peanut butter? Okay, what is yes. peanut? What is peanut? Um, mani. Mm. Peanut is mani. A peanut butter is mantequilla de mani. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Have you tried? Ya probado mantequilla de mani? Did you like it? Yes. Too soon. 
Yes, I no. like it. Yes, I like it. Yes, I thought that peanut butter was something sweet, like very sweet, but it's not sweet. It's like salty, right? It's like a peanut, and but in, in butter. And that's it, right? It's, it's very similar. And they, in the United States, it's common to, to eat it with jelly, right? That is very common. What other common food from the United States do you know? Do you, do we have, we have hamburgers, we have pizza, we have cakes, we have pies, right? Apple pies. Apple pies are very, very common in, for holidays, right? In the United States. Have you tried apple pies or any kind of pies? Yes. I yes. Have. Yes, very also, good. Also pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie, yes. Pumpkin, they do a lot of things with pumpkins, right? For In October or for Thanksgiving, right? Dia de gracias, Thanksgiving. That is very popular. They eat a lot of food, the turkey, everything. Very good. Now, um, we will have vocabulary also for food because you're going to use it in the future. So we have here, we have meat, chicken, pork, beef, and ham, right? So we have these kind of meats, carne. We have fish and seafood. We have shrimp. This is the one, this is the shrimp, right? The one that you can see here in the picture. Salmon, tuna, what is tuna? Atun, 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 right? atun, atun. Atun. Lobster also, lobster, okay. vegetable. Yeah, lobster is, it's very expensive lobster. It's langosta. 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 Yes, it's similar to the shrimp, but it's bigger and with some tenacity, right? Scissors. <laughs> so we have vegetables also, chilies, onion. Chile, cebolla, uh, zanahoria. Eggplant, yes, Tomato. eggplant. This is the, the eggplant, the one that you can see here in the... Berenjena. Yeah, this is the berenjena, eggplant. exactly. Eggplant. 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 We have fruits, also banana, avocado, tomato, lime. And we can divide also food with a countable and uncountable nouns. For example, buns, sandwich, apple, orange, burger. Fries, eggs, salad, vegetables, cookies, potatoes, tomato, carrot, hot dog, candies, olives. What is olives? Oliva. Aceituna. 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 Aceitunas. Exactly. Aceitunas. Aceitunas. Oliva is this one, right? Oil from olive, olive oil. Peanuts also, pancakes. I think if there is an onion there. Watermelon, peas, grapes, and cherries. What are peas? ¿Qué son los peas? What is the meaning of pea in, in Spanish? Garbanzo, no. O chicharos. Chicharos, chicharos creo que yes. Yes, green peas, exactly, green peas. Very good. So those are countable nouns. We can count them, right? And also we have uncountable nouns. We have bread, but bread in general, fruit, juice, meat, rice, Cereal, jam, milk, coffee, sugar, flour. What is flour? Arina. 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 Arina, exactly. Flour is arina. This one doesn't have a name. Uh, salt, soup, tea, cottage, cheese. What is cottage cheese? In Spanish, in Salvadorian, requeson, right? Like requeson. requeson. That is the cottage cheese. That's requeson. Very good. Pasta, honey, water, cheese, butter, seafood, and mustard. Do you like seafood? Yeah. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> yeah. I know some people don't like seafood. It's like the smell. I don't like seafood. Tatiana doesn't like seafood. Okay. You see? So she doesn't like uh, fish or cocktails. Uh, she doesn't like shrimps. Some people, they can stand it like the shells, right? Conchas. But some people love it. I, I really like it. It's really delicious. But you have to clean it very well, right? You have to clean it very well. Very good. And now I guess I don't know if this um, this is like an audio that we have in um, in the platform. 
I don't know if you have heard the this conversation yet. Have you heard it? Yes? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, yep. okay. So these are yes, two people, teacher. right? They are talking, they are speaking about a restaurant that they, they are going to eat. And it seems that they are they are going to eat fried fried brains and also uh, snails, right? Caracoles, snails. Have you tried any of those food or like what is the strangest food that you have tried? ¿Cuál es la comida más rara que han probado that you have tried? Octopus. Octopus. Yes. I don't know how do you say cutusa. Cutusa. What is cutusa? It's a bird, no, right? No. What, what is cutusa? What is that? Is, a, is it a bird? Is it a pájaro? No, right? No. It's like uh -huh. a similar rabbit. Okay, similar Yo to no a sabía. rabbit. I don't know. In, this mo in that moment, that, that era cutusa. <laughs> you didn't know it was a cutusa. And no. it, was, it was good or it was bad? It was delicious? It was bad. It was bad. You didn't like it. I don't like it. You did okay. So we won't try cotusa, okay? So Garrobo. let's see. Garrobo. Garrobo, yes. Garrobo is very popular here in in Salvador. Tacuacin Blanco. Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Have you tried Tacuacin Blanco? <laughs> yes. I don't know. Rana, <laughs> sapos. Ra frogs, right? Yes. Frogs. Like, rabbit. Rana. Yeah. rabbit. Have you tried rabbit? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes. And what is the taste of a rabbit? What? How does it taste like? A qué sabe? It's like a chicken. It's like yes, that's what they say, right? It's like chicken. It's like chicken, oh. like. But it's different. It's different. The taste is it? Is the skin is harder than a chicken? Es más duro que el pollo? Yes. The rabbit, so, yes. So, 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 so. It depends of the preparation. It depends of the preparation, yes. That, that that's also changes the taste and, and the texture, right? So yes. I've never tried uh, it, a rabbit. It, I never tried it, cotusa. I never tried, yeah, garrobo. Never, right? Never. But probably anyway, I tried. Yeah, anyway. yeah I, I, don't, I didn't know. I didn't know, probably. Because sometimes Amitos. you don't know, right? Cabritos, like lambs. Lamb. It's, it's a mix. It's a mix of um, lamb and and cut. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. And mm. are they delicious or not? Yeah, it's very no. delicious. It's more delicious than um. I don't know how the how to say, siervo, uh, here venado. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's more it's delicious, delicious than that. Yeah. Mm. Than okay. The, so you have eaten a lot of meats. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. I, I, I know. I, I, I tried, but a friend of mine went to Mexico and they brought uh, crickets. Crickets. Grillos. Uh, grillos. Yes. Ah, yes. yes. So I ate gr uh, crickets. They're like salty with lemon. Mm -hmm. And it was strange because it was very like very pointy because of the legs. And I'm, it was strange. It was like a cockroach. But uh i don't know mexico they they prepare a lot of dishes with ants hormigas and worms a lot of insects have you tried any insect in a food or just by accident right <laughs> just by accident just by accident <laughs> okay very good thank you for your participation probably we will try rabbit in the in the future probably and uh, but there is a rumor also with COVID-19 right in China they eat dogs and cats and there is a rumor right that COVID was originated because a person ate a, a bat murcielago they ate a bat and that's a rumor we don't know right uh, yet so the bat <laughs> so yes exactly <laughs> exactly but we don't know yet so we are going to continue with that conversation okay this is the conversation that I, I was talking about. This conversation about um, the the strange food that they were trying. This one, the one that you heard at the platform, and we are going to pay attention to the conversation and we are going to practice the conversation. Okay, but first of all, we have to pay attention. Okay, now we are going to listen to the pronunciation and then we will practice it. 
it says, hey, this sounds strange, snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, this is the conversation we are going to practice. Questions about the conversation? Preguntas? New words that you can find there? Snails, teacher. Snails. Snails. What are snails? What does it mean? Caracoles. 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 Snails. Exactly. <laughs> now, uh, also, when we use probar, algo nuevo, o probar comida que nunca hemos probado, it is try, right? Why don't you try some? Have you tried it? No es tratar. Eh, tratar se traduce en otro contexto, pero en el contexto de probar algo nuevo o comida es try. Have you tried it? Yes, I've tried snails before. Ya los probé, ¿verdad? Or no, I haven't tried them. And also, uh, it says here, I'll have a small order of the snails, please. I'll have, o sea, voy a tener, es como que me traiga, por favor, voy a, eso me voy a comer, I'll have, ¿verdad? So that, those are expressions, right, in English. We are going to practice it one more time, and then uh, two of you will, will begin, right? So this is the last time that I, we are going to practice, okay? Pay attention, please. It says, hey, this sounds so strange. strange. Snails with garlic. Snails. Have you ever yeah. eaten yeah. snails? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. I had them. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. And then the waiter says, have you decided on an appetizer yet? What is an appetizer? Appetizer. Aperitivo. Oh. Aperitivo. Si ya decidieron por algún aperitivo. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Entrada, le dicen. <laughs> Entrada, exactly. <laughs> Yes, I'll have a small order of snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fry brains. Fry brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, now uh, check the pronunciation. Aquí dice, I've never heard. Here is present, that present is here. I hear you, los escucho. But the past participle is heard i've never heard okay are you ready okay i want two volunteers to practice the conversation please just two carla carla and who else tatiana okay carla you will be uh, the yellow one and tatiana you will be the white one and i will be okay, the waiter okay? okay 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 go ahead please okay. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I have a small order of snails, please. And you, sir? I think I have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Very good, very good. Congratulations. Claps for you. Okay, it sounds scary. What is scary? ¿Qué es, qué es scary? Algo scary. ¿Qué es eso? Aterrador. Asustado. Ajá, aterrador. aterrador. Yes, exactly. Sounds scary, right? Very good. Now I need two other volunteers. But if you check the conversation, okay, Carla, and who else will, okay, Edgar, 
Edgardo and Carla. So if you check the conversation, there are some words missing, ¿ok? Por eso tenían que poner atención, porque ahora faltan palabras. But if you pay attention, you will continue with the conversation. Just continue, ¿ok? Who will begin? ¿Quién va a comenzar? Car Carla. <laughs> ok, Carla. You will begin and then Edgardo will continue. Ok. Hey, this sounds strange. A snail with garlic? Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I have them here just like week. Did you like them? Yes, I have. Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why, do, why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Okay, have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I have a small order of the snail, please. And you, sir? And you, sir? I have fried brains. I think I have the fried brains. Fried brains? I never heard of that. It sounds scary. It sounds okay, scary. very good, very good. I never heard of that. It sounds scary. Very good. Okay, here, if you check, Edgardo was thinking, how do I answer, right? Did you like them? Yes, I have, or yes, I did? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, yes, I did yes, right? I did. Yes, I did, I did, because if I ask you with did, did, you have to answer with did, right? Yes, I did, okay? So two other volunteers, please. Otros dos voluntarios. María and Jaime. Yes. You want to practice, María? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, who will begin, Jaime or María? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Hey, this sounds strange. Snail with barley. Have you ever... I teach you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey, hey, this sounds strange. Sneak with Carly. Had you ever sneak? Eating sneak. Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Yes, I have. They is delicious. They have. See, it's delicious. Why don't you try some? For me, it's yellow. Or no, white. you're the white one. Maria, you're a yellow one. You're the yellow one. Maria, did you like them? Uh-huh. Yes, I, I, I did. They have, have delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Okay, have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I have a small order of the snail, please. And you, sir? I think I have the fried brains. Free brains? I never heard of that. It sounds it's scary. Very good, very good. Even though it was like some missing some words, very good. Fried brains, right? Eh, sesos fritos, but that fried, fried, very good. If you say frito es fried, very good. Now the last two, los últimos dos para, para finalizar el ejercicio, the last two. Rosa Maria, okay, Rosa Maria Merino, and who else? Who wants to help Rosa Maria? ¿Quién le quiere ayudar a Rosa Maria? Me teacher. Who said me? Rosaura? Ros Rosaura, yes. Okay, okay, Rosaura. You can begin and then Rosa Maria will continue. Okay, okay. Hey, this sounds strange. A snake with garlic. Have you ever eaten, eaten snakes? Yes, I have. I had a then then here just last week. Okay, did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. 
Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Okay, how, how, you do you uh -huh. how, how do you decide on an um, appetizer yet? Um, yes, I have a small order of, of the snails, please. Are you sure? <laughs> Again, I think I have the fried brains. Fried brains? I never heard of that. I sound scary. Very good, very good. I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Very good. So this is the conversation, okay? So very good. Rosa and Rosaura, you did a great job. Now we are going to listen to the last time. Uh, probably you can practice it more in your houses because you will listen to the audio, right? So listen to the words, okay? It says, hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fry brains. Fry brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, so you just need to practice the, the conversation. If you can play it in your computer, in your cell phone, just try to practice it, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. Very good. Now, I guess that we have, we still have 15 minutes enough time. So this is the tense that we are going to study, right? The simple past and the present perfect. What is the simple past for you? ¿Cuál es, ¿Para qué usamos el pasado simple? Why do we use it for? For things. To express actions in the past. Mm -hmm. For, for things, things we know in the time specifically past. Okay, for things we know the past, to express things in the past. What else? What else? To talk about things that we have done, right? In, probably sometimes we know the time. And the present perfect? What do we use the present perfect for? <laughs> and everybody's reading like that. <laughs> okay. And yes. Teacher, maybe um, something that happens mm -hmm. in the past and follow yet, maybe? I'm not, I'm not sure. Yes, kind of. Yes, very good. It says the present there, perfect and the present perfect is for an action starts from the time in the past and is still continue now. Yes, very good. Probably can it can continue until now and until the present day. So the simple past it says here it's for completed events at a definite time in the past. Para eventos que ya se completaron. Ya en el pasado, ya pasó, ¿verdad? It happened already. It's in the past. And the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present. So probably it can be relevant until today, right? It can be relevant. Probably already finished, but it is relevant until today. For example, like the conversation, right? It says, have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I tried them last month. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious, okay? In the conversation, we were combining the two tenses, right? The simple past and the present perfect. Uh, to know about something that we have uh, done in the past, but we don't know the specific time, we use the present perfect. So that's why we start with the present perfect. Por eso empezamos la conversación con el presente perfecto. So have you eaten, have you ever eaten snails, right? And then we can continue the conversation with the past, right? Because it's something that we already did. And that's how we combine the two tenses. That's how we combine this present perfect with the simple past. 
Another example there, it says, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? No, I haven't, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends, okay? So it, uh, the, it's the same, right? At the beginning is, have you tried this? Have you been there? Have you read about this? And you're asking about something in general, something that I was in the past. I don't know when, but I'm talking about that. So it's still relevant. And then once you answer, we can continue with uh, the press and the simple past. Sorry, the simple past. Okay, pero al principio utilizamos el presente perfecto y al final ya lo, ya lo terminamos la conversación con el pasado simple. So we use them to talk about experiences, right? To describe an action that's being repeated between the past and present, to describe an action that started in the past and is still continuing in the future, to describe an action that has not yet been finished, and to describe an action that was completed in the recent past. So, this is the present perfect. Okay, this will be your homework for tomorrow. Let me see. This is the present perfect. This is the structure, okay? Here, subject plus have or has, it depends, right, on the pronoun, plus past participle. Y después el complemento, a complement. I have tried sushi. He probado el sushi, ¿verdad? This is negative. Subject plus have not or haven't, has not or hasn't plus past participle. So this is the contraction, right? I have not. She has not. It depends on the pronoun. And the past participle. I have not tried sushi. And this is the, um, the question, right? The interrogative question. Have or has plus subject plus past participle. Have you tried sushi? So we have the three of them. I have tried sushi. I have not tried sushi. Or have you tried sushi? And these are the examples with the verb to be only with the, I'm sorry, with the verb seen. What is the present of, of seen? ¿Cuál es el presente de seen? See. See, see right? See, right? See. And the past? So. 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 Exactly. So. And the past participle? Seen. 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 Very good. Very good. So this is the affirmative. This is the negative, And this is the positive question, right? I have seen, I have see. seen a person, I have seen um, you, right? And this is the negative. I have not, or I haven't seen, I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you in recent years, right? Or the question, have I seen, have I seen, have I seen you before? Lo he visto antes. Have I seen you before? Te he visto antes. And these are with all the pronouns. So you can check it, right? We can see here that it changes, right? If it is I, if it is he, it, it, is, it changes to has, right? So be careful with that. It's like the same rule as the simple present, okay? So you shouldn't have any problem with that. Do you have any questions about the present perfect? Preguntas? No questions? No questions. Okay, very good. And these are just structures that we are going to use. Probably you have uh, studied them before or you have studied them in the platform. This is the rule that we were talking about. It changes, right? For have is the pronoun I, you, we, and they. And has is he, she, it, right? This is the present perfect. So this is how we are going to use have, right? And this is the subject, have, subject, ever, past participle, and complement. Ever is a frequency adverb, so we can omit it if you want to. Podemos quitar ever en las preguntas para hacer este tipo de preguntas porque es un adverbio de frecuencia. Entonces, es nada más opcional. Uh, and the example, it says here, have you ever eaten snails? If we remove ever, it's the same word. Have you eaten snails? ¿Verdad? ¿Has comido caracoles? El ever es como decir alguna vez. ¿Has comido caracoles? So, it's that extra, right? Have you ever? 
And the response is yes, I have or no, I haven't, right? This is a this is a yes no question, right? Have you ever done this? Have you ever done that? Have you ever? Y es como alguna vez. Y aquí está este. Bueno, esa es la misma estructura, ¿verdad? Uh, have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. And then we can use the simple past, right? I tried them last month. Okay, ahí ya podemos utilizar el pasado. Pero pre, siempre preguntamos con el, el presente perfecto y contestamos con el presente perfecto, pero ya después que explicamos la situación, podemos utilizar el pasado. And it says, did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Also, after that, we can continue asking in, in, with the simple past, right? And we have to answer with the simple past also. So if you are asked with the present perfect, you answer with the present perfect. If you are asked with the simple past, you answer with the simple past. And that's how you are going to combine it in the conversation. Okay. And this is the last one. It says, um, have, has, this is for questions. Actually, this, this structure, have or has, subject, ever, past participle, plus complement. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? So this is... Um, have you ever, we, you can ask about different things like where, how do you like it, when, how was your experience, right? We can talk about different topics using the present perfect. So that's what we are going to do tomorrow. We are going to talk about different things that you have done in the past um, when you were younger or if you have traveled to a different country or if you have tried strange food or if you have had like a different experience that you would like to share with the class. That's what we are going to do tomorrow. But your homework uh, will be very easy. I want you to, in your own words, uh, tomorrow, tell me what is the simple past and the present perfect. I have explained to you a little bit of it. Ya les expliqué un poco qué es el presente perfecto y el simple past. Así que no van a ir así tan, tan vacío, ¿verdad? Pero uh, tomorrow with your own words, we'll say the simple present is for this, for this, and for this. And the simple past is for this, for this, and for this. And that's it, right? How we use the simple past and the present perfect. So you don't get confused. Also, as a recommendation, um, remember to study the verbs in the past. I don't know how many verbs you know in the past or uh, using also the past participle. But you have to learn them, right? It's, it's the only way. Tienen que aprendérselos de memoria. Entonces, mi recomendación es que vayan aprendiéndose ya los verbos en pasado y en presente perfecto. Okay? Do you have any question, any doubt about the vocabulary or the little piece of grammar that we studied today? Questions? Carla, Carla de Alegría, Carla Merino. Maria Sigüenza, Maria Cecilia, Jose Leonardo, Rodolfo, Lisette, Tatiana, Rosaura, Gabriela, Walter, Rosa, Brian. Questions? Noé, Edgardo, Jaime. Questions? No, teacher. No, teacher, no question. No, no question. It's clear, teacher. It's clear. It's clear for the explanation. It's clear like uh, orchata, uh, right? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> it's clear to go to the present okay. water. The first and the, past, and the simple past, uh, only, we only present the meaning. Examples, no. You can use examples. Yes, you can use examples if you want to. I just oh, want okay. a, a short explanation, right, with your own words. Like you can say, simple past is just for actions that are finished already. And we know the specific time. For example, I studied at the school in 1997. And that's it, right? That's a good, very good example, okay? So you can use many examples, as many as you want. Or um, you can use just your explanation in your own words, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. So do you have any other questions? No more questions, yes? 
have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, for learn uh, the verb uh, uh, listado, un listado de los verbos con el, el, el presente y pasado, hay, digamos, algunos, hay una cantidad en la que podemos aprender o, o podemos bajar una tabla. Yes, you can download a, like a table or, or a list, the most common ones. I will give you just a little bit of them or a, a small amount, but you can download a list if you want to. The ones that you use the most, right? Like listen, walk, run, you can start using them. And then we are going to have like a little difference between regular verbs and irregular verbs, but you can download the list. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, Thank another you. question. No more questions? No. Okay. So mm -hmm. we are going to finish the class for today. I hope to see you tomorrow at nine o'clock and go and eat something, okay? Have a nice evening. Okay. Have a nice evening. Nice. 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 Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Nice see you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you. Bye.